Hey guys, and welcome back, or if you're new here, hello. I am coming to you guys with another Halloween hunting video. These are my absolute favorite videos to make. Like, there is nothing more fun than going to the store and seeing if there's new things that have arrived and, like, just showing you guys. I am back on uh, my back porch because, again, like other videos, the lighting is the best out here, so you'll probably see me out here pretty often. I went to a couple different stores today. I went to At Home, Bath & Body Works, and... Michaels. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in the footage and then afterwards I'm going to show you guys what I purchased and what I think. Um, obviously I love them if I bought them. Also I had to take off my nails when I got home today because one popped off and one was on the verge of popping off and I was like I already look crusty as heck and that's why I didn't film me actually going out and doing this. So I said I cannot have these nails be looking wild too. Um, and please disregard a little fake tan line from where my watch sits. That is super sexy and cute and I'm so glad it's <laughs> featured in the video. Oh, one more thing. Look how cute this bat necklace is. My mom got me this and I am so obsessed with it. So we had to wear it today for good luck because we needed all the good Halloween luck in the world today. So without further ado, here is the footage from the stores today and uh, I'll see you guys in just a minute.
the lighting keeps changing a little bit because there's a storm coming north carolina is like so rainy this week i don't i don't know what it is we probably need it but it's obnoxious so the first thing i gravitated towards was this little ceramic cat dish i'm so excited to put like candy corn or like candy in it i mean i think i'm i'm a cat person personally and so when i saw this i was like i love it i need to have it this was 16.99 and i am absolutely in love you hear the thunder <laughs> I took a photo with it, but it had to come home with me. I love this little jack-o'-lantern. It lights up. I'll insert some footage of it while it's like lit up. Um, I thought it was going to be like ceramic and heavy. It's literally like the lightest thing ever. And it comes with a little plug, so it's not battery operated or anything like that. This was $30, um, but totally, totally worth the purchase. In my first Halloween hunting video, I don't think I showed any of the things that I actually bought. I bought this ceramic pumpkin that is matte black and it has like spiders and flies and like just a whole bunch of gross nasty little bugs. But like the texture on it is super super cool and I just, I haven't seen anything like this so I had to bring it home. This one was $24.99. And then I love a really good skull moment, and I thought this one was really cute with the pearls and the glitter. So this one absolutely had to come home with me. I also bought the bleeding bone candles, and if there is one thing I would probably not purchase again is this. I love how they looked, but when you light them, it's more pink instead of like a blood red. So if you do buy them, maybe just don't light them. I bought this candlestick holder from, I believe it was TJ Maxx last year. It's this like skeleton, gothic, romantic looking candlestick holder. So I figured that the bone candles looked perfect because it was all bone themed. Candles are kind of pink, just be warned on that, but I like the aesthetic of them. And then the only thing I purchased from Bath and Body Works today was their um, hand spray, antibacterial hand spray in Vampire Blood. This is one of my super, super favorites for Halloween season, like this scent. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I was very tempted to get the Vampire Chihuahua, but I love the Haunted House Wallflower plugins. And so I wanna wait for that because I don't need a million plugins, but. The Haunted House is my favorite. I haven't seen what it looks like this year and I'm so excited, but that was like the first thing I got from Bath and Body Works last year. So I keep crossing my fingers that soon they'll have like all that stuff in, but they were just kind of trickling in a little bit of Halloween. So that is it for my little mini haul today. Um, I keep going into places and I get excited, but I don't want to buy everything because honestly only I can only have so much Halloween as one person. As much as I would love to have it all, I only have so much money and so much storage. So I keep waiting for like the bigger things to come out. Also, if you are on the hunt like I am for the ghost holding the lantern from Cracker Barrel, it is the most stunning piece. I think it's only $50. But I went to my local Cracker Barrel here in North Carolina and they told me that each store only gets one. So hopefully they get more in, but like it's going to be impossible to get my hands on it and it was sold out. So if you come across it, count your lucky stars because I am dying for it. Literally dying for it. I want it so bad. So that is going to be like, if I find that, that's going to be like the biggest purchase that I make. Not monetarily, but just like a biggest like win thing. And if you are seeing this video and we are not friends, give me a follow. Let's be friends. I love connecting with other people that are into super spooky little things like myself. Just makes my heart happy and just gives me the most serotonin. So yeah, I guess that's it for me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.